Hello everybody and welcome back to Anne Holofer. Today we'll be taking a look at the Fidoli Pielli colony, which we haven't seen for almost two months now. And this has been one of the more requested videos, so here you go all of you requesting it, a video on the Fidoli Pielli colony. But before we start the video, go down and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon while you're at it. Let's start the video. So this is how the Fidoli Pielli colony looks today. This is one of the most requested videos that I have gotten so far and that is because it is almost three months ago since my last update on these girls. Since then I have moved them into a new setup in a little test tube connected with an outworld and a switch box, also known as a four-way connector. But as you can see inside the nest nothing has really changed that much. I'm not really sure if they have grown at all, I think they have grown a little bit, but there have also been a few deaths here and there. When I initially got the colony I was warned that Fidoli have a tendency to stop producing eggs and die a little bit when you initially get them. So I am really happy with how they are looking today because to be honest I wasn't really expecting any more or any less, I was just expecting them to stay the same. and wait a few weeks, maybe a few months, before they started growing for real. So taking a closer look, we can see we have one of the majors walking around and we also have a nice egg pile in the top left corner of the screen. But in general, this is actually quite a calm colony compared to many of my other colonies. The only time they aren't that calm is when I'm feeding them, and when I'm feeding them they are going completely crazy. And you may be asking, why don't you show us some feeding action? And that is because I moved them into this new test tube because the old one was drying up and I wanted to get some good shots for all of you. But since I moved them into this new test tube, they haven't really been hungry at all. Or they have been hungry, but I haven't really been able to capture their hunger. But as you can see, we do have quite a nice brood pile. And again, I'm not really sure if they had any brood at all when I initially got them. They had a few eggs, but nothing really special. So to see this today is really nice. Also, I think we have lost a queen or two. To be honest, I'm not completely sure because I don't know, it's a really small colony. And with this macro lens, it is a lot easier to see them. But I think there's only five queens in there. And when I initially got them, they had seven or one of them were dead, so they had six, and I think there are five alive today. But as you can see again, a little bit of a close-up on the brood pile, and we do have all stages. We have eggs, we have small larvae, big larvae, and we have pupae. Some ready to hatch, and some just entering the pupae stage. But Fidoli are Fidoli and Fidoli are really small. Now it is really hard to show you guys how small these ants are because well with the macro lens they are a lot bigger <laughs> but it is just so hard seeing all of these workers with the naked eyes. I was actually really in doubt whether they had brood or not because I can't see it with my naked eye. Also because I'm a little bit blind but when I feed them I can see that they are running out of the test tube taking the food and getting it home again. Again, I wanted to record it, but they haven't really reacted the same since I moved them into this new test tube. But else, I don't really look at the colony, and if I look at the colony, I can't really see what's going on, because I can just see a bit of orange, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But as you can see, in the middle of the test tube, we do have this black thing, and this is actually an old fruit fly that is currently rotting inside the test tube. Now when they had the opportunity to move into this new test tube, they had some old food in their old test tube. And they decided to move that old food into this new test tube. And well, they haven't removed the food yet. So I'm hoping that this fly won't be a problem in the near future. But it is quite annoying for me to sit here and see that there is a fly inside slowly starting to mold. Also, you can see on the right side, there's a little bit of a cork thing, and that is because I have put in a cork splitter, making the test tube a little bit smaller and making the ants feel a little bit more safe. No, it doesn't quite work because this colony is just so small, but it works a little bit better than if it wasn't there.
but looking from the right side, the colony just suddenly explodes because there are so many workers in this cotton that you just can't really see from the other angle. But as you can see from this angle, there's actually quite a large amount of workers. And from this angle, I'm pretty sure the colony have grown quite a lot, but it's just so hard to see with the naked eye. So when I entered this recording session of the Fidoli Pielli colony right here, I actually didn't quite know what to expect. Maybe they had exploded, maybe they hadn't. I wasn't quite sure, but I am really pleased with how they are looking, especially because, well, first of all, it looks like the colony have grown in total, but also because there's a lot of brood on the way. So I'll keep feeding them and keep not looking at them and seeing how they will progress. But this is the setup from the four-way splitter. We go into these different tubes and then we have the little cork entrance and then we have the test tube itself. Now I could maybe have put in two cork splitters, but I decided that I thought one was enough because this was actually the first time I made such a thing and actually it was my fiance who made it so credit goes to her. She also inputted it and I didn't know if it was easy or hard. So therefore I thought one would be enough. If I were to move this colony into a new test tube, I would probably add two. And that is because it is quite a large room for this colony because they are so small. And in general, ants don't like large spaces. They like enclosed spaces. So therefore I will make the test tube smaller next time they have to move. But the entire setup looks like this. We have the ant by UK outwell connected on the left side, going into this high tech ants four way connector and going over to the test tube. And this whole setup is just so small. Now it's a little bit further out and not as macro. And now it's starting to become really hard to see how many workers there are inside. It do help with a little time lapse, but in general, it is just so hard to see how many workers we have inside. But also ever since I moved them into this new AIM by UK Outworld, they just haven't really been the same. I'm not quite sure why they have such a hard time dealing with this outworld but i found out really quickly that on the left side is where and by uk have made the entrance and that was way too high up i tried stacking it and all kind of things so i made my own little entrance on the right side of the nest and well you can see i have still made a staircase down to the ground because even this one to two millimeter gap from the floor to the tube was too large for the workers so they would end up walking around and dying inside the outworld and they would die within one day which i just didn't understand at all but now i have a little cork entrance and now they're able to enter and leave the nest and yeah holifers that has been it for this video so not a major update from the last video i mean they have been growing a little bit but to be honest it is really hard to see because they're just so small I don't know if they have doubled in workers or I just wasn't able to see them in the old setup. It was always a little bit hard seeing the workers in the old test tube as it was, I don't know, a little bit dirty. But now I can finally see how big the colony is and hopefully in the next video we can see how much the colony have grown. But yeah, Holifers, that has been it for this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see all of you in another video. Bye! <laughs>